Welcome to another video and today we have a Toshiba with a suspected power board failure. So if I try and turn it on, looking at this red standby light, it just flashes between red and green but the TV never manages to actually turn on. After quite a lot of flashes it remains off, so let's take the back off and try a new power supply board and see if we, if we can get this working again. Here I'm going to speed up removing the back cover, we've seen this many times before. First of all we remove the stand of the TV, there's just four long screws for this. And then we remove all of the screws around the edge of the plastic panel and that then allows us to pull this off the back of the TV. So the back cover is coming off now, I'm just going to put this to the side, I'm not even going to bother and clip the power cable and remove it from the hole that it feeds through. Once I've got this aside I'm now going to disconnect all the cables going to the power supply. So I'm starting off with the cable that runs between the power supply board and the main board at the top in black. And then there's the cable that runs to the LED strips and then finally the actual cable from the mains power supply to the power supply board. That's all disconnected now so I'm going to grab the electric screwdriver again and remove the four Phillips screws that's holding this board to the TV. I'm just going to bring it closer to the camera so you can see which power supply board I'm changing. In this case it's the 17 IPS72 made by Vestel. I have a few spare in the box. You can see that I'm picking up this old power supply board really carefully on the edges only so that I am as far away as possible from the capacitors because they hold a charge. If you don't know how dangerous they are then check out the recent short I made. Now we just need to plug in this spare power supply board and then connect it to the mains and just see if this works. On a cold start it does normally take a little bit longer but it does eventually power up into life. You can see the light lighting up the carpet. Let's chuck the back cover back on and the TV stand as well and then stand this upright and then test it. That was the flick of the switch against the wall and hopefully it will power up. The logo should come on once and then turn off and require the on button from the remote. We've made it to the home page and so after connecting it to the Wi-Fi, I'll open YouTube and play a test video. I'll just search 4K and then find a random 4K video so we can test the quality of the screen. I've chosen a cat video but I can't be asked to wait so we'll just deal with watching the ads. We can see the screen's working and the volume works so we move on. Thank you very much for watching and if this video has helped you out then please consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more content. See you in the next one.